Slap that displacement modifier on using any PBR height map. Let's get down with a simple D form. Smack, smack, smack the mesh with an array modifier. Smack the mesh with the curve modifier. Straighten it out like your life depends on it. Use any reference image as a blueprint. Mastery of the head, keeping in consideration that the mask needs to follow along the scales rather than through them. Smooth them cheeks out. Extrude vertices inward while preserving a control loop. This will allow us to add additional geometry within the mouth interior while retaining the UV map. Let's proceed to invade the shed and get some tools. First, we harness the inflate, dab it with a bit of draw tool, followed by the crease and just a tad of sharpen. Lumpiness would be considered as true. When adding a noise texture, it will add to the amplification of the detail. Mask the bottom, pull the top down, invert and repeat. Position the eye in reference to your image and sculpt until the sun shines. Slice half of their head in two half slices. Pizza. Do not boolean the fangs. Create a reference fang, cut it out and extrude. Conceal the mouth interior to acquire effortless workflow. Sketch over your image somewhat when lucky when you were a child, baby. Extrude the faces and introduce three control loops. Assign a new material to the head face scaly thingies. Bully in the eye, bully are. Smooth like a baby's bum.
three bones on the top to help distribute weight and fang bones. Redistribute fang weight with 2D faces only removed, utilizing projected fall off if needed. Join the head to the body. Test rig the mesh. Create a decimated duplicate of the snake. This will allow you to do real-time animation by greatly minimizing the amount of vertices. To avoid stretching of the snake, we need to parent it to an armature. To make an armature follow a curve, we need to disconnect all of the bones and assign each of them to a gent empties using a child of and track to bone constraint. Create a replica of the first armature which we will call second armature. The first armature controls the slithering of the snake while the second will be used for striking pose. Assign empties to the top head bone using the child of constraint accompanied by the simple D4 modifier. This will allow for narrowing of the tongue when entering and exiting the mouth as well as vertical bending. Parent the camera to an empty to achieve revolving effect. When satisfied with animation of armatures 1 and 2, you can now parent the original high poly mesh and render. If the mesh will not find a solution for the armature, try decimating the snake. This will result in the same amount of vertices as well as triangulate all faces. Therefore, we need to straighten out the eyes. Alright, I'm out. See ya!